Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little different. I've been on a journey, you see. I've been trying to find the very best version of myself. And the more things that I learn, the more things that I add on my tool belt of life, and I feel like I can conquer anything. Today I'm going to be talking about no fap. Now, I've been on this NoFap since the end of June. The end of June of last year is how long I've been on NoFap till currently. And the reason I came about this NoFap was because of relationship problems. You know, I was in a relationship for a long time with a woman. And when she would get upset with me she would withhold so there was times where you know years ago that I would masturbate during this time and I started to think to myself you know I just really feel bad every time I do this act of self-pleasure so I made a deal with myself to never do this again to never look back on self-pleasing and that's what I've done. I can only, only come to this feeling and this climax with a woman now. So that is basically how I became and how I learned about NoFap. Now, some of the things that I've been noticing while I was on NoFap, let's talk about it. During the first month of NoFap, there were some extreme changes. As you all know, as males have high amounts of testosterone built up inside of their bodies. And what I noticed is when I didn't release regularly or when I stopped, I could not get over the feeling of what we like to call blue balls <laughs> now this is kind of funny to talk about but at the same time it's not because if you've never experienced this this is not a pleasant pleasant feeling okay this is when you're built up or maybe you've been aroused and you were not able to transmute that energy out of your body and when you do this you get swelling in your testicles and a whole lot of pain this is what you're going to experience during the first month two months of no fat now I must say once you've conquered this area the rest of it kinda gets easier let's move on one thing I really really noticed I start to notice that I don't feel anything negative okay I have a sense of staying away from negative energy and if I do happen to feel some kind of negative way I do something about it and when you fap I notice that you are not likely to do something about it you let things go in your life that are not benefiting you and this is another thing that I've just noticed as I said I was in a previous relationship that I felt like I had to try to work out that was bringing me no benefit because this person could never be wrong so I decide to take my energy and myself and remove it from the situation. I notice that I have 10 times more energy. You know, I'm an early riser. I get up, I exercise, I stretch, I work. I'm always finding different ways to accumulate some kind of resources. And ever since doing this snowfap, I noticed that my energy levels never crash. 
their high all the time. And I do remember, like I said, during that first month, mainly during the first two weeks, that sharp increase in energy, that workout focus, you know, that that look in your eye. You know, it's it's funny that now that I interact with people, they can tell something's changed about me. I get that a lot. I need way less sleep now. I don't get tired at all. That is another key thing. If you're one of these people out there and you've just been wondering, how can I make myself better? How can I improve my life? Well, I'm telling you now, saving your energy, keeping it inside of you, focusing on bettering yourself is the way to improve your life. I can invest more time in my purpose. I notice that the focus, the drive, the creative, the creativity is all there in my mind. It's like I'm able to draw pictures so much better now. You know, I've been doing a lot of traveling driving around seeing different places and I now see what I've been missing out on saving my energy using it using it for the good purposes in my life to better myself is what we need to do when we feel like there is no more incline in our life where you're sitting stagnant. You know, I think clearly all the time. I see things for what they are. And this is another factor to me that has just been amazing. I even think, just based on my interactions with women, that I became more attractive. My voice has changed. I walk taller. My chest is out. I have extreme self-confidence, but not being cocky. I feel like I am the prize and I am worth something because I am saving my energy. Like I said, my voice is deeper. I can feel the high levels of test. It's an amazing feeling. I have an increased energy all the time, increased confidence. You know, it's just so many different things that are happening. You know, I would just, I, I, I can't get to the point if I can necessarily say I would recommend this because I feel like it's going to be hard and tough on a lot of men. A lot of men that might not have discipline, a lot of men that not you know, might not have experienced, you know, going a month or two without no fat. You know, more it, it, more than 90 days of no fat is only 7% of people out there. More than 90 days, only 7% of people out there are doing this. So I just wanted to give you guys something to think about. I wanted to talk about this. And we're going to be talking about this some more. This is just me coming out of my shell and letting you know exactly what I've been going through and how this is driving me to better myself. You will experience the highest levels of motivation. Okay? This, I cannot make it up. The enthusiasm. The alpha energy. No social anxiety. Attention. I'm serious. People will just stare. They will check you out. There's something glowing about you. Another something I want to touch out on before we leave. 40 drops of blood equal one drop of semen. Masturbation. 
masturbation is energy suicide. Thank you guys for listening. Talk to you on part two. Have a good day.